please welcome Dan Clapson, who's bringing some Western love to our show. I know you're a good friend of Mayor. Anyone am, who's yes, a friend of Mayor is a good friend of that City Line. Good to hear. Now, you're from out west. You're from uh, Calgary? Yes, I am. I grew up in Saskatchewan, but I live in Calgary now. Okay, so you go back and forth, uh, you know, the western provinces, but today you're bringing us some western ingredients well, for what, this recipe. Exactly. What I thought would be interesting is I think a lot of people may not realize where different ingredients come from. Yeah. So again, I'm from Saskatchewan, and Saskatchewan is the largest producer area the area where they produce the most lentils in the entire world. See, I did not know exactly, that. Exactly, right? So 99% of Canadian lentils come from Saskatchewan. Yeah. Okay. So I just have a few cooked up ones here so you can see the difference between the dry and the cooked. Yeah. So red lentils, green lentils, and there's also canned lentils, which are just right over here. I don't know if we can see them. I'll move this. Yeah, I'm your, your camera's up there, so they, they can get a shot so of that. A little different again, but canned lentils, they can have a lot of sodium in them, so you can still use them the same way you use other lentils, but just rinse them off first. That's what I'd recommend. Get rid of some of that sodium. Yeah. Listen, I have a question for yes. you. Is it just a color thing, or do those actually taste different? No, they taste. They all taste very similar. Uh, the red lentils similar, are split, right? so essentially cut in half, so they have a different texture. But other than that, they're, they're very similar. Okay, yes. all right. It's just whatever you're yeah, looking exactly. for in terms of and, aesthetics. And, and exactly. they actually, they're really good if you're going to make a soup or something because they they actually almost disappear. Okay. And so if you're like lentil challenge, it's always a good way to start sneak them off. Right? Yes, yeah, so yeah. you sort of sneak, sneak it in. Them in. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And so what we're going to do here is these scallops are from the West Coast, so these are Ocean Wise certified. I heard Marilyn talking earlier about seafood sustainability, and that's something that's really important to me too. Mm -hmm. So I found these scallops at a great store called Hooked. It's on Queen Street East. Yeah, that's, and, where, I, that's where I get my seafood. Yeah. Do you, you, you probably go there too. You're, I, I know the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. fantastic. Everything they have there is 100% sustainable, so I really love that. So okay, so you need guys. to look for that when you're looking for, for good fresh fish. You important. know exactly where it came from. You know that they're using good methods of farming the fish. Absolutely. Right. And so what we're going to do here is just add some chopped chorizo. <gasps> Always a good idea, and Dan. This is supposed to more or less represent all the pork producers that we have in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. Right. So lots of pork coming out of there. And Ontario is a big producer as well, but right. something a little... A little fact for you there. So, so everything has a bit of a, you know, we're, we're talking about where everything comes from. I'm wondering exactly. from your perspective, how did you start? Did you start in the kitchen? Did you start as a food writer? How did you get so much into food? Um, I used to manage a cafe wine bar in Calgary, and that kind of, was my first real foray into the industry. Nice. And then I just really had a passion for writing, and, you know, it's, it's grown into a, a great career for me, and I get to meet people like Marilyn who are pretty yeah. cool <laughs> and awesome. uh, things like that. I get to travel all the time and, and that's how I've really discovered all these it's interesting facts about different provinces and what they offer to the Canadian food scene as a whole. So, right. so that's what I love about it. That's Speaking amazing. of wine, were we talking about wine? Yes. Okay. Let's talk about <laughs> wine. Absolutely. So, no secret that Niagara has some amazing wines but yes. the Okanagan in BC does as well. Really? I've yes. never heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Amazing but wines it's, there. It's not the easiest to find BC wine at the LCBO here. but um, You can't find it almost yeah. at all. So pretty much the only you can find some lower level wines and this is Mission Hill but this is definitely their their economy wine which is great to cook okay. with All right. but I think if you check the reserve section in the LCBO you should be able to find some some different bottles there for sure. So you came so all the way from out west and you brought us the economy bottle? <laughs> <laughs> I may have shopped for ingredients here. So. Okay. <laughs> I was just anyway. wanting to clarify. <laughs> Next time I'll bring a nice bottle. You we better go. bring two. Right. What the heck with the wine? Sorry, two, two, two. <laughs> All right, so we're deglazing the pan with some wine. We're going to add in our cooked lentils. So this is just a mix of the three that we talked about before. So can, green, and split red. Okay. Pop them in nice. there. A little bit of mustard. Mm. Let me grab that. Yeah, that's that Thank Dijon you. there. Yes, and, and also... And you used this too, didn't you? Yes. Oh, I'm butting in. That oh, looks sorry. good. You can bud. Go okay. ahead. Right. What is that stuff? So that's Mare. camelina cool. oil. It is grown just outside of Saskatoon. Uh -huh. It's a really sweet tasting oil. It's really high smoke point, high in omega-3s. It's a really, really interesting product. And I love it in the spring or summertime because it really just adds a freshness to dishes, which is really nice. nice. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to add that. that just a little bit at the end here. And we're almost done. Did you meet Mayor when you were doing television uh, in BC? Like uh, breakfast television? I think, I think I, I met her remember. online, like not a dating website, but, <laughs> but I think there's... Don't tell I'm married. <laughs> we can talk about it. We can talk about but it. I think, okay. I'm, I think we met place. through Twitter. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. like that. You so. met on Twitter, did yeah. you? Yeah, we yeah. did. We okay. met on Twitter. Hi, Hi, you're really cute. Oh, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but then when did I meet you, meet you? I think we went to a conference together. Okay. Aww. Yeah, so. Aww. Isn't that nice? Sorry, I forget. <laughs> that's all right. That's anyway. okay. That's yeah. actually, you know, true friendships. It's often hard to think of how they first started, right? Exactly. Uh, but the, you're both why in the same I was world. attracted to him is that he's a really good writer, you know, and there's a lot yes. of people that don't write so well, but they're, well, I shouldn't say that out loud. Anyway, never mind. 
Well, mind. thank you for saying that, actually, <laughs> because that. That once good. you have been a writer or you've studied the craft, you're a wonderful it's, writer. it's difficult mm -hmm. to, oh, to understand good. this proliferation of people who can't actually really write at all, and there are bloggers Sorry. everywhere. I so I have, a, I have a real love for the art of writing. I think it's amazing. I know. And you know it's what, you know, just a sidebar, you wrote the wonderful story about fitness uh, that I read on Twitter the, the other running? day. The running? Oh, my gosh. It was such a great one. Oh, oh my thanks. gosh. You got, yeah, it was wonderful. Anyway, All sorry. Right. So okay. to finish up we here, yes. I, I just, sorry. well, you two were talking. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what'd you do? <laughs> I threw in some BC apples and some parsley to oh, freshen nice. up a bit. And okay. all we're going to do is plate it now. So that's pretty much it. That's the uh, Western Canada in one dish. But there's something that, I mean, this looks amazing. Take out the chorizo. You have a vegetarian dish, right? Uh, there, yeah, there's butter, and that's yeah, the only thing. So for sure, it would be vegetarian. And it very looks good for you, great. too. It looks from the light. Touch of butter. Yeah, and great for summer too. You can serve mm -hmm. it warm, and that's what I like to do, or you could serve it chilled as well too. Yeah. I'd probably just slice the scallops thinly and put them on top. But oh, thank so you, good. Marilyn. All right, okay. so we are putting this recipe on our website, yes. and Dan, I hope that you will uh, come back and visit us I again. I would love to. Thanks for having we me. We love you. All right, let's go to break. More coming up.